Welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. You know, being... Being president is a hard job. But some parts of it are just a gimme putt. Well, surprise, Donald Trump sucks at golf. <laughs> because there's just one thing he couldn't do. And that was doing a mocking impression of the testimony of Christine Blasey Ford. But last night, last night, he just couldn't resist his desire to whip it out. <laughs> Jim? 36 years ago, this happened. I had one beer, right? I had one beer. Well, do you think it was... Nope, it was one beer. Oh, good. How did you get home? I don't remember. How'd you get there? I don't remember. Where is the place? I don't remember. How many years ago was it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What neighborhood was it in? I don't know. Where's the house? I don't know. Upstairs, downstairs, where was it? I don't know. But I had one beer. That's the only thing I remember. There he is, going after the woman vote. And I do mean woman singular. <laughs> because after that, there's only one woman who's going to vote for him. And I'm being told we have her picture. There you go. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Lovely. <laughs> Montage about uh, the different clip we wanted. Listen, Donnie, trauma survivors don't always remember every detail. For instance, on election night, I don't remember what color tie I was wearing. <laughs> I just remember trying to tighten it until the blood stopped flowing to my brain. Also, <laughs> it's in this one coming up. The important details. Also, you are lying when you say that Dr. Ford couldn't remember anything. Where is the place? At a house in the Bethesda area. How many years ago was it? 36 years. What neighborhood was it? In the Bethesda area. Where's the house? Somewhere between my house and the country club in that vicinity. Upstairs, downstairs, where was it? The top of the stairs. I can sketch a floor plan. Dr. Ford, you might need to sketch a floor plan because Numb Nuts here only learns in pictures. <laughs> and the president... The president also took a pot shot at a more recent accuser represented by Michael Avenatti. We had another woman just reported by a sleazebag lawyer named Abiate. Yes, Michael Aviate, <laughs> the lawyer who proved you cheated on Melampia <laughs> with Spanky McDaniel. Of course, there's, there's also a new narrative out there that it's not just men like Brett Kavanaugh who need to live in fear. This is a time when your father, when your husband, when your brother, when your son could do great. Mom, I did great in school. I've worked so hard. Mom, I'm so pleased to tell you I just got a fantastic job with IBM. I just got a fantastic job with General Motors. I just got... I'm so proud. Mom, a terrible thing just happened. A person who I've never met said that I did things that were horrible, and they're firing me from my job, Mom. I don't know what to do. Mom, what do I do? What do I do, Mom? What do I do, Mom? It's a damn sad situation, okay? Bravo! What a performance. It's all part of his one-man show, Downfall of a Fictional American Man. <laughs> and with your indulgence, <laughs> Madame and Monsieur, my ladies, my gentlemen, uh -huh, uh -huh. if you will allow me, I would like to perform one of those monologues now. <laughs> Mom, it's me. Your son slash brother father. I just got a fantastic job at IBM and General Motors and Kraft Foods and the big American jeans company. <laughs> but I'm in a bad way, Ma. I was walking down Main Street in any town USA, and, well, Ma, this, this woman got me, Ma. She jumped out of a dark alley and lied about me, Ma. <laughs> and now, well, they're just gonna have to tell little Johnny that Santa's not coming this year. Santa got me too by one of his elves. <laughs> Go! Oh, oh, they shot me, Ma. This is it. Tell the police it was Aviate. 